Nucleotide excision repair is one of the very important repair mechanisms inside the DNA to repair DNA damage. Now in this case, the DNA damage is repaired if there is any misincorporation of a nucleotide in the DNA and it was not properly fixed during the proofreading of the DNA synthesis. Now let's say here in this animation we'll be talking about how this DNA nucleotide excision repair actually works. Now let's say these are the kinks that are just formed into the DNA. To fix those kinks they require enzymes and the enzymes that are required in nucleotide excision repair in prokaryotes are called as UVR. Now here comes the first enzyme in your color it's called UVR A then UVR B with this blue colored circular proteins along with UVR A two UVR A's with two UVR B they load themselves into the DNA in the distant region and they start scanning the DNA to find there is any kink or problem or misincorporation of nucleotide in the DNA or not. Whenever they find that kink then in that case UVR A load UVR B into the position and the UVR A dimers just separated from each other and during upon loading of this UVR B to that nucleotide problem site it bends the DNA into a particular angle. Then they bring UVR C enzyme and then UVR C will bind with this UVR A comp UVR B dimer with the DNA backbone and this UVR C enzyme has beautiful property for degrading the DNA strand. Actually they break down the phosphodiester backbone in the DNA and cut that those DNA segments apart. Once this process is done they will recruit UVR D in this pink color. UVR D upon loading UVR C is replaced and UVR D acts like a DNA helicase and it will just bring and cut out the strand that, are, that is already been digested by UVR C. In that case they will further recruit polymerase 1 and DNA polymerase 1 will start synthesizing new DNA strand instead of the old problematic DNA and rest of the associated proteins are dissociated and we have got a properly functional DNA after this process. That's how the DNA is repaired.